Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a get ready with me, plus, I don't know, just talk, have a life update moment. I started a new job um, just a week ago, and so I bought, I work at a boutique, so I bought um, this there. We actually do men and women's apparel, and this is like a guy's sweatshirt, but I really like it. It's like heavy. I think it's super cute, so I bought this and a cute purse and a belt recently. I'm really liking my job and um, I've made friends, go me, <laughs> and yeah, so it's been a good week actually, so I just want to sit down and chat, it's a chill day for me, I have the day off. Okay, so first off, I want to start with my eyebrows. I usually do, just because they're the hardest for me um, to get right. And so if I mess up, I like to do them first and like clean them up a bit. So I'm gonna start with um, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, honestly not a bad start for me. Okay, I kind of have a good shape, but I'm gonna go in with just a um, Equate makeup wipe and clean them up. There we go. I'm debating on if one is longer, like towards the middle than the other one, <laughs> or if they're too long. Like I struggle with this every morning and I find that the only mirror that tells me the truth about my eyebrows is my rear view mirror in my car. And I'll like look in, like once I get in, I'll like look immediately and be like, crap, they're off. <laughs> I really um, love makeup and I was extremely into um, watching makeup tutorials and makeup reviews and like fun makeup challenges for a few years now. I've kind of like stopped just like watching, like I go through phases, so like I haven't watched anyone's recently. Um, like within a few months, like I've just taken a break, but um, I have been like watching, I don't know, for some reason I've been watching like um, gaming channels and like I don't game, just some videos have popped up on my feed and so I've clicked on them and actually like they're, I watch them because they're funny, like some of them are really humorous and I, I just like kind of am in the mood to just like watch things that make me laugh right now. And so I've been watching a lot of those, but I used to um, like watch uh, my makeup tutorials and then go out and like buy the products and like test them. And I didn't have a channel at that time. I would just go out and do that for myself and like learn about all these products. And uh, I'm pretty sure like I'm still on top of most like products that are new and up to date and like that are good, but um, I've kind of like been wanting to clean out my makeup collection or just try to use a lot of what I already have before I keep purchasing because I was purchasing multiples of things and I actually just have way too much right now and so I don't want to waste any of my makeup so I'm just trying to use it up as much as I can. So I am kind of happy with these brows. Like, they're not the best, but they're good. 
Oh, I am using just a daily facial moisturizer from Cetaphil um, on my face and just rubbing it in. And then next I'm just going in with this cute little travel sized 24 karat gold firming foundation primer from Merle Norman. I'm just adding it around my T-zone. There we go. Yeah, so I recently moved to Kansas City. Um, I pretty much have my apartment finished, but I'm adding some new pieces. You guys will probably see that in the vlog I'll put out. Um, cause I don't have any accent chairs and I just got a cute like, um, cat toy chest, um, to put all of the toys in for my cats. Uh, otherwise, uh, or I, uh. So I have primed my skin and now let's go in with foundation. Okay, we're going in with this Manhattan 3-in-1 foundation. I bought this while I was um, on a trip to Germany uh, last year and I really like it. It was in their um, drugstore and it's in the shade Porcelain. And then I like to mix it in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in kind of a deeper shade. I'm not sure what shade I am lately um, because I've been tanning at my pool here. I've been getting into tanning recently. I never used to. I really enjoyed being pale the entire year. But honestly, it's, it's a good change of pace for me. Like, I don't know. Like, you'll... Like, I'm a person who's, like, up for just trying something different. Like, I like to change my eye color, so sometimes I'll um, buy uh, colored contacts. I've done that before, and actually I haven't done it in a while, and I had blue colored contacts, and I loved how it looked. And then I've been kind of wanting those again. I want my extensions again. I've been going without those for like two or three years now which I'm proud of myself because I was really into extensions and probably too much like it probably hurt my hair but my hair doesn't grow um, at all and I've been trying like growing it with vitamins and and supplements and hair products and everything and it's gotten better it's gotten longer but it is not where I want it and it should have already been like to my back like down my back to my butt and it's not and I think I just have like stunted hair growth <laughs> and so I'm kind of wanting to get extensions again and try a different brand and I don't know, they just make me feel so good. Like I really miss the feeling of having long hair and I've just never had long hair. Like I'd love for my hair to be naturally long, but I don't think it's gonna happen for a while. I'll just keep up like my hair care routine and stuff, but I do wanna get extensions back. Maybe some color contacts. <laughs> like I'm a very extra person I love like doing the most <laughs> and being the most sometimes. I really like the shade of this. This matches me pretty well. I think I'm, okay, so like I'm like not tan on my neck for some reason. It's a little bit more pale, but like this matches the rest of my body. It kind of matches the neck. And I've been using this Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. And then I mix in the tiniest bit of uh, tart shape shape tart shape tape in with it to highlight I've been using this more and I just like to put it under my eyes like down my nose forehead chin all that I'm just gonna set my whole face with some powder. I 
I'm just a person who likes to do like lips like in between setting so I'm just doing something and I want to let's see I think I will wear this Manhattan oh my gloss which honestly I recommend is one of the best drugstore glosses I got this in Germany as well but I think you can get it online and I'm going to line my lips with this really tiny uh, Milani lip pencil I've had for a while I will link these like all all the products I use down below so you can try them for yourself but Milani makes really good lip pencils what are we doing okay we're in the lines we're in the lines and then I'm gonna go in with the gloss like look how nice that is like just smoothing. Now I'm just gonna dust the powder off, what's left, with my Morphe E52 brush. Um, I followed um, Patrick Star for a little bit, and um, like way back at the beginning of college, so like four years ago, and I bought um, the like all the Morphe brushes like he recommended in this one video. And they have literally been my favorite. They're my go-tos. I I need to get new brushes. I've gotten two of them that broke, but just replace them with the exact same ones. Like this one broke, and uh, the blush brush. Um, but they are my favorites. I just would like to try maybe like the Scott Barnes brushes. I've heard good things about those. If you guys have any uh, makeup recommendations for me let me know like I want to try your go-to favorites like I need to spice up my routine okay and like sometimes I let the powder sit and I do my eyes and then sometimes I just like don't want to wait so I'm going in with actually contouring before I do my eyeshadow I'm going to go in and use this shade right here, and this is a Wet n Wild brush. They might still have these, they might not, I bought this in a kit, but I'm just going to go in and contour right here in my cheekbones. So in the last week, things have like really been, I don't know, just going actually like on track for me. Like I feel like my life, like for the past three years has just been not exactly what I was wanting. Like, and also just like the, I don't know, the nerves of like, what do you do after college and like what are you gonna do and stuff have like kind of been haunting me like while I was in college and um so finally it just kind of feels like all of my worries my nerves like things that you know I don't know I was just really scared of trying like I've kind of already overcome those in the first month of you know officially like starting my job and moving and like doing life after after college and after school and it's like it's finally like really calm it's calming to me that like things are finally going into place like I've met some new people which is awesome and like I love where I'm living and I have a great place I'm working at and I'm really excited to like you know go into work every day like I just have like that energy again I'm starting YouTube I really want to you know keep up my blogging and my Instagram 
Um, and I don't know, I just like want to work on myself and just do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> like for these next few years, like I just want to try all this new stuff. Like I, I want to like, you know, fill my weekends with just like fun, fun things and like doing things and, and then like doing self care days. And I don't know, I just really want like, I just, <coughs> hold on. <laughs> I know I'm like kind of getting a little bit like deep and personal for a third video on my channel. <laughs> but like, I'm just finally like feeling really happy about where things are going and how things are starting off. And, and I just really haven't had that for the past few years. Like a lot of people, I don't know, like you go through college and I had a really good time, you know, but I don't think I had the best time I could have. Uh, a lot of people probably have a better experience with it. And it was just like, it wasn't like school or anything. It was mostly just like my social life and like living where I did and like, you know, I didn't know like what I wanted to do or you know where to go and stuff so I didn't I actually was like traveling up here more to go and try things and like this is where I really felt like I wanted to be and I didn't want to move out of the state like just yet and be away from my family and um so I wanted to like move up here and it just feels right so I'm very happy with that. Now we're gonna use a Morphe E3 brush. And I love the LA Girl Just Blushing blushes. Honestly, they're really inexpensive. You can get them at the drugstore, they're a few bucks. You can get all the shades you want. And like your set for years, do you know how long this is gonna take? to use up all of this blush like I'll never run out this is a really pretty peachy color and that's what I'm saying like I bought so much makeup like I have every single one of these blushes and I just like cannot use them enough and I am trying to minimize my makeup collection so then I can go out and buy lots more makeup <laughs> but I'm waiting um, the next thing I'm going to use is another um, blush. I love watching Tati Westbrook and one time I remember she said like she sometimes doubles up on blushes and puts one like all over and up and then puts one like right here just to create more dimension. So I'm going to be using this brand. I can't pronounce that. I bought it in Germany. Um, at their local um, drugstore, and that's like their local drugstore brand. And I'm just going to hit this on the apples of my cheeks just for another layer and color. We'll see if this looks natural. <laughs> okay, after we put on blush, we're gonna go in with this NYX HD Finishing Powder. I love this stuff. Um, I feel like if I have harsh lines, it really helps diffuse everything or like harsh colors. It's also a really great brightening powder. So I like to put it under the eyes. It's very light. So like, I wanna know if you guys have moved somewhere new recently, what you've done, you know, to like get into community into the community or you know to just meet people like did you have a friend where you moved were you completely new like are there some things I should try out that you know of I want to go in with this this is the flower beauty um, satin finishing powder yeah I got that right <laughs> I didn't even look and it comes in like this giant container which is nice for vanity, but 
it's too big for traveling with, but I do love this powder. It really blends everything and like you just dip it or not dip it, you pour it out into the little hole there. And then I take my E52 Morphe brush and then just tap some on and then go over everything again. Okay, now on to highlighter. We're gonna use uh, Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. My friend got this for me for Christmas and I have used it so much, like, look at that. I put a hole in it. It's gonna be gone soon. But I'm just gonna take this shade here. And some days, like, I put Max Fix Plus on it, and here's that. This is the best thing ever. Um, I use that on all my eyeshadows and to like wet my sponge to help blend my foundation. I feel like that really helps. Um, but yeah, I just hit the apples of my cheeks up here. Some days I go a little bit above the brow. Come here! <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, sorry, Puff. Puff wanted to steal the spotlight. That's my Himalayan kitten. She's just a year old. Um, okay, we're gonna go in with this bone color. Hey, what are you doing? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> we're gonna go in with this bone color right here. Put that all over the lid. I am using an E27 brush. I'm gonna go in with this brown shade down here at the bottom. Just tap into that. Oh good, good call. It wasn't a mistake. It's not like a violently, or it's not like a strong, harsh color. <laughs> Sometimes you can't tell what you picked up. And I am just starting right in my crease. Let's go in with this brown shade down here. Let's go into this shade up top, another chocolatey brown shade. just kind of blended that in. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush and tap into that first brown shade and then just go back, back over top. I still don't know if this is gonna look good. <laughs> it's still like that iffy stage of like we're getting somewhere, but I don't know if we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go into the second Morphe palette, the 350S, all the fun glitter shimmer shades. Let's go in with this shade here. I don't think I've ever used this one, but it's kind of like a warm, cool tone champagne color see how it turns out. I'm gonna take my Max Fix Plus, spray it. Mm. 
Let's go in with like, you know, just this pale shimmer right in the corner. That's not gonna hurt anything. Nope, only improved the look. All right, now we're just gonna hit the lower lash line with the first color we used. Next up, we're going to go in with eyeliner. I love the um, Essence eyeliner pen. So I'm just gonna go in and create a wing eyeliner look on top of this fabulous eyeshadow. All right, done with the eyeliner. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think they're pretty even. Yeah, so next I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on a little mascara. Lashes are coated. And then I like to set my face before I do bottom mascara because I have, I don't know, I have this thing where my lashes, no matter what I do, will always just like the bottom lashes, like the mascara on the bottom will transfer a lot. So I avoid that mostly by um, not spraying finishing spray on top of them and like getting them damp again. So I like to do that before I'm completely done. And then I like to do that before I put on falsies just so that they don't get wet and heavy. So I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and set my face. Okay, and then for me, since I told you I have a really bad, I don't know, thing with my mas my under eye mascara transferring, I like to use a primer. So I have a mascara primer for Merle Norman. And I just like to coat this on my bottom lashes. And then we'll let those dry. And while those are drying, um, we'll move on to falsies. I love the Kiss Couture false lashes in the style Teddy. They have been my go-tos for over a year or two now. I can't remember. I've just been wearing them constantly. And when I wear makeup, I always have false lashes on. All right, so we have makeup done and I'm going to go blow dry my hair, straighten it, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, we're done. This is the final look. Um, it took us a while to get here, as it does every day for me because I go from zero to 100. Um, but I love how this turned out. I really like um, the eyeshadow. I think it does look really cute. I love the shimmer that I put on my eye. I think that's like what helps make it pop and not look too dark. And yeah, I really, enjoyed filming this for you guys and filming this little bit of a glam fall look uh, leave me a comment below if you enjoyed this and if you have any tips or tricks for me to try out hopefully in uh, my next get ready with me video I could use those and your products um, so thank you for listening to me ramble on about my life. Um, let me know if you also use any of these products or if you already um, do, and these are also your go-to favorites. 
Um, I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!